So today I am taste testing Golden Corral's pizza. Yes, they have pizza. And yes, you can get it delivered like normal pizza. I have two pizza boxes right here. In case if you haven't heard of Golden Corral, basically I would say it's a comfort food buffet. Um, it is known for having kind of like low quality food, I feel. A lot of people like to drag it, but I did a full menu taste test on it like a couple months ago and some of the things were bad, like the desserts, they were very bad. Like that blueberry pie traumatized me. Um, the pie filling honestly looks like a mush which is not appetizing at all. I can barely even spot any blueberries. It's just like a gelatinous mush. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God. Mm -mm. But like the bourbon chicken um, and um, the pork, some of those meats were quite good. The only items I didn't try that day were the pizzas because I was like, Golden Corral pizza needs its own moment it does it's <laughs> right i just i felt like it was special um i have never had it in my life well maybe i did as a kid because i did go to golden corral in my teen years but i don't recall like eating the actual pizza so this is gonna be a lot of fun guys we have cheese and pepperoni my favorite hopefully i don't get the gout we all know my struggle with the gout <laughs> oh these are sweaty boxes oh she is in a sauna look at this <gasps> wow they are quite heavy Something, ah, they almost slipped. Something smells like ice cream and I don't know what it is, like ice cream and cardboard. Very interesting. By the way, guys, subscribe to my channel, Timmy's Takeout. I try brand new fast food items. I keep you up to date on what's new and what's fresh. And I do full menu taste tests and I try weird things like this pizza. By the way, the cheese pizza was six bucks and the pepperoni was seven. So pretty decent prices. Guys, I am so hungry that I'm like at the level of like almost shaky. And that doesn't happen often. It's probably because I just did a 30 minute cardio hardcore workout. But yeah, I just hope these are good so I can feast. I need to right now. Let's see how this looks. Oh, the pepperoni! That looks pretty good. It smells very sweet. Like, like super sweet. Like a sweet sausage. <laughs> um, the size for seven bucks, honestly, could be bigger. Like, I feel like you could get a better deal like at Domino's for like a bigger pizza. I don't know. But it has a good amount of pepperonis. And yeah, overall just looks pretty cute. And now let's see the sweaty, sweaty cheese. Oh my God. Oh, it's sealed. <laughs> Thank you. Go to growl. Ooh. This is serving Chuck E. Cheese, and I love Chuck E. Cheese pizza. People love to drag it because they have all these conspiracies about Chuck E. Cheese, which I don't believe, honestly, please. And this is kind of reminiscent of like the look of that. It looks pretty good. It looks very cheesy. Like the cheese is dripping in between slices. Do you see that? Very nice. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, thumbnail, thumbnail first. <laughs> that was really dramatic. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? Let me do a close up one with a nice, juicy slice. Okay, let's eat. I'm so hungry. I'm sweating. Oh my God. So, this is what the cheese looks like. The cheese is kind of like sliding off, which is, you know, an aesthetic. It's a choice. Let's try it. Mmm, pretty thick cheese. I'm liking it. <laughs> I expected trash. Oh, the cheese came off. Yeah. Okay, I'm not saying it's amazing, calm down, okay? Don't put words in my mouth. The crust is really bad. The crust is shockingly bad. The, the crust couldn't be worse. <laughs> it's like chewable water. It has absolutely no flavor. The texture is pretty stale. Oh, okay. So I have a lot of thoughts. I'm very conflicted. I'm kind of shook about everything right now because it's horrible, but also great. Like I said, the crust is absolutely awful. Dare I say it, I think the crust might be as bad as 7-Eleven's pizza. 7-Eleven's pizza is 
iconic for being so horrible. I used to be the type of person that thought all pizza is fine. Like even if it's trashy pizza, it still gets the job done, right? Until I tried 7-Eleven's pizza. It, it ruined me. <laughs> it showed me the truth about life. The fact that there can be inedible pizza. It opened my eyes and I'm grateful for that, but it's nasty. So yes, the crust is as bad as 7-Eleven's pizza. It's just awful. It's awful. Like it's just like just so plain and it's just a horrible texture, everything. But I will say that I do love the sauce and I love the cheese. Those ingredients totally save the pizza. 7-Eleven has horrible crust, horrible sauce, and horrible cheese. Everything's horrible. But at least this one has some good elements to it, you know? Like, the cheese is that nice, salty, processed, delicious cheese. And the sauce is a bit sweet, tangy. It's great, but the crust really does affect it. It just brings it down so many levels. I would compare the cheese and the sauce to Chuck E. Cheese pizza, but Chuck E. Cheese has much better crust. I'm gonna give Golden Corral's cheese pizza. Oh, I don't know. I'm so conflicted because it's bad, but it's good. I'm gonna give it, oh, give me some of this cheese. Mm. I'm gonna give them, um, I think a five out of 10. I am shocked that it's not totally awful but I'm also shocked by how bad the crust is. I, overall, I'm shook it. <laughs> Next up, let's try the pepperoni version. Guys, has the camera been too high the whole time? I'm sorry. There's some more of the food in frame. Let's try the pepperoni version, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Let me get this crispy pepperoni. It's a little better. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna. cheese and pepperoni aren't meshing. Of course, the crust is still horrible. It's almost like the pepperoni brings out a slight sweetness in the cheese, which I'm not a big fan of. I couldn't taste it um, in the plain uh, cheese pizza, but hmm, wow. It's still not bad, but I think that I like the cheese one more just because the cheese gets to shine and it just doesn't taste as sweet. Um, and the pepperonis themselves could be better. They taste like really cheap, like store-bought pepperonis, but you know, that's to be expected. It's golden crumb. So, honestly, I have all the same critiques for the pepperoni one as I did for the cheese one, but just the fact that the pepperoni is not great and it just, and it doesn't taste good with the cheese. That's it, that's all I have to say. There's not much else <laughs> more to say. So I'm gonna give the pepperoni version a 4.5 out of 10. It's a bit less good than the cheese, but overall, this could have been much worse. You know, at least the cheese and the sauce are delicious, but the pepperoni and the crust aren't. And I love pepperonis, but these ones just aren't doing it for me. I don't know why. But I am so hungry and it's getting the job done. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried Golden Corral pizza? And if you have, what are your thoughts? And if you haven't, how do these look to you? What are your thoughts? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.